Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Noli, and today, today, we're getting into step three of the whole Dragon Blaze update that's going on for the fleets whenever they come, which will probably be like around here-ish, around here-ish, or probably the next month, I, I'm not sure, but apparently let's get into, oh, we're getting into ally stuff now, so our overlords are going to be able to go to ultimate now whenever this update comes through. Okay, okay, a lot of things just to hit us with. Eh, this is gonna be pretty interesting. Now everybody's gonna have to think of what they want to ultimate, especially for you to play players who are still in the game. Let's see, let's see. Overlords are getting rebalanced. So they could get like buffs, nerfs, it really depends. Most of them are buffs. Most of the time they just buff. They don't really ever nerf, to be honest. So I'm not sure if it's just these guys that are getting the buff or if it's just everybody. But I am definitely going to check that out and we're going to go through all the like rebalances if they actually put it up in the patch notes. Thanks, phone. Anywho, <laughs> let's keep going down. Alright, so... So, convert. Oh, are we getting the, Okay, what's changing here? So after this update, you'll be able to convert the souls you... Wait. Huh? After this update, you'll be able to convert the souls you want when you pay a small fee. So, are we just converting from like... One ally? Is that what they're talking about? I don't know. Uh, one of you guys explain this one to me. Because I feel like it's like... One double... Let's say you get like a... Double S warrior. You can convert them... Into a soul. Instead of you needing like five... Warriors, you can convert one warrior into a soul or something, maybe? That's at least what I'm thinking when I think about this. But I could probably be wrong. If you guys know anything about this, let me know down in the comments and that'll definitely help out. I'll definitely pin that. Alright, update 4. New allies possession effects. So we call this the relationship effect. Most of the community calls, calls it that. And it's pretty much whichever character you own. Well, if you own all four of these, you get this buff. If you own three of these, you get this buff. And if they're max, this buff gets upgraded. If they're all ultimate, this buff gets upgraded. Yeah, just just normal owning system. All right, so we got two characters here. Francis and Z Zeal? Zerzul? Zerzul? Something like that? But, fun fact about Zerzul, or Zizel, whichever one you want to call him, he is an encanter, apparently. It's funny because most of the community thought he was a mage at first. But it turns out he is an encanter, and we're getting another encanter. We all thought we weren't getting another encanter until, like, Elves, but apparently we're getting another encanter in the fleets, which encanters are actually pretty decently strong in the game, so it's gonna be interesting to see. So it seems like Hayden's, the Hayden overlords, are the only ones that don't have an encanter, but it sh it should be fun to see what he can do. I might actually grab him because I really enjoy encanters in this game. Francis, on the other hand, I might grab her too, depending on her skills. But yeah, we gotta see what their skills are like first before I even go in and try and, you know, summon for these guys. We'll go over that in like a patch notes whenever they come. It's funny because these two, I'm pretty sure are the first overlords that come to the game. But this is like update three 
which is weird. I'm pretty sure they're going in order. But originally, these guys were the first ones that released in Korean. So I'm guessing they're going backwards, maybe? If it is, update order. Alright, we're having a special ally enhance login. So they're going to... Yeah, they're basically going to give us some rewards that will increase our... Creation of, like, characters and everything. Or enhance the characters you have. I uh, get special rewards from the pigs. Yeah, yeah, I think we read about it last update that they're getting an upgrade. So hopefully that that upgrade's gonna be really good. Alright, event three, support the biggest update in Dragon Blaze history. Alright, it says send us your support for the prepared update. You'll get a reward based on the number of support sent. Wait, huh? Nani? I'm gonna have to read a little bit more about that. Uh, I might check the community event and see how that is. The community, like official community is pretty much the forum. So you guys can go there to see how that is. But, what can I say about this update? The ultimate thing, definitely going to be fun because we've definitely been looking forward to ultimating our characters for a while. Because the Overlords can only go up to max. Because here's the thing, if you guys are new to Dragon Blaze or don't know anything, uh, Overlords can only go up to max. And in the future they'll be able to go to ultimate and I'm pretty sure arch. Um, at the moment... Only transcendent characters can go up to Arch, and DFI characters can go only up to Ultimate. So, yeah. It's about time the Overlords kind of got their new skills. We're going to definitely run through them and see what new skills are available for the Overlords. That should be fun. The whole rebalance thing, I'm really hoping they make... A few characters like way more viable. Like, I like Rin here, but he seems like he lacks a little bit compared to everyone else a little bit. And Ban, Ban, Ban is, I don't think Ban needs like a rework. He's really, really strong in PvP. It's like insane how powerful he is. Just those three hits you get on him and it's just pretty much automatic death for any character. But, then again, it, it's the Overlords, man. Need to make them as strong as they can be. Uh, update 3. Still confused on this. It's either converting allies to souls or converting souls to other souls. Not sure which one yet. But that should be interesting. Um, it's about time we got new like relationship effects. Uh, I might have to get this character just for this effect, since I have these three already at max. And it seems I might have to get this character, if anything, too. Eh, I might get this one and just say, screw this one. Because <laughs> I won't have um, Sig. Because I'm not a huge fan of Sig. As for these characters, looking forward to them. Especially this guy, because I haven't really seen much about him. So I don't know if he's good or bad. I've seen a lot of people use Francis inside of the Korean when she first came out. But not many using this character. So that should be fun as well. And as for that, that's the rest of that stuff is just event stuff. But yeah guys, hope you all enjoyed. There's no new patch notes or anything like that. So we don't need to go in like the actual game. But I'm looking forward to this. This update should be very interesting. I'm not sure if they're just going to throw everything out and just all together <laughs> or anything. Or if they're just preparing this for next month or something. I bet you some people are hoping they just put every single one of these. Well, actually, since this is the biggest update, yeah, they're going to definitely put every single page onto here. The characters on the other hand, I don't think they're going to really do all at once because that would be insane <laughs> the characters will probably still be released in like pairs 
But if they were to release all these at once, that would be insane. We would have so much content we would have to catch up with and... Yeah, and the player base won't be happy about that because... They, we've never really been happy with them, like, rushing characters. Especially when we just got, like, new characters and we're trying to, you know, put in our resources in them. And they're not giving us a break, just constantly, like, releasing. I'm pretty sure they got how the community is when that happens. And know how we feel now when we're kind of, like, having so much, so many things thrown at us. Let's just say that. But, yeah, guys, with that said, hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me how you guys feel about this whole update thing since we got, like, step one to step three. Tell me how you guys feel about all of this right now. Just from looking at all these steps. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.